John Hunter for governor. The future depends on you making the right decision. A special night, a special man. Coming in three weeks, it's the Crow Reunion in Iran. Whoa, this is more exciting than chatting with a teen girl online. I'm completely engorged. Welcome back to the Venturas Poker Challenge. Uh, while you were away, you missed something ridiculous. The poker gods were smiling on dangerous Derek Thornton just now. He took the sport in a whole new direction. Yeah, that's right. Earlier, we spoke with Derek, and he said his typical day, he wakes up around 3 p.m., plays poker online for a few hours, goes to the bar with friends, comes home, ass-faced and does the whole thing again the next day. He's never read a book. Seeing that, people from around the country have flocked here to come and train for this sport. You know, Troy, what we're doing here is illegal in most states of the Union. But what happens in Las Venturas stays in Las Venturas, except when you're donating blood or semen to fuel a poker addiction. But before we forget, this section of the show is presented in association with Release Gum. Because you chew, you suck, then pow, life has shot a load in your mouth. And Pill Farm, because when the cards go against you, it's time to swallow, and it's good for you. You know, I don't know about you, Malcolm, but I am just amazed at the endurance of these serious athletes. We've been playing for hours now and no sign of fatigue. Oh, that's absolutely right, Troy. 21-year-old Butch Roberts, former manager of Rusty Brown's Ring Donuts, may now win a bracelet here tonight and be able to buy himself a whole chain of donut shops to be run by foreigners because we're too lazy. Exactly. It's the fitness level of our biggest stars that make poker the incredible sport it has become. Example, Jennifer Trashcan Zelensky. She's been sitting there for hours now and no sign of tiredness. A cosmetics clerk from Nebraska, she's barren and instead has adopted eight children from Venezuela, all of whom are here tonight, except for her adopted son, Jimmy, who is gay. Well, she's one tough lady. I bet her pants smell like daisies. And how? Uh, wait, she's going to put it all in, just like she's seen a pair of cowboys to ride. I tell you, that last round, she won it with a handful of doggy balls. Oh, she sure did. Those eights will kill you. Terry Kim, the destroyer, he has not budged. Fit as a fiddle. The guy smokes three packs of Redwoods, drinks a cocktail every five minutes, but still, he keeps on coming relentless. I mean, that kind of luck is what a serious training program can do to you. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're not men. They are not women. No. They are gods. His wife and mistress both looking on from the sidelines. Hey, wait. Oh, my God! Oh, mercy! Remember the date. Remember the time. Remember where you were sitting when you saw this. And for those new to our sport, where have you been? It is all on this next three cards. Or the one after. Or the one after that. Yes, it, it's ridiculous. Uh, we've had it all here tonight. Quite, uh, qu quite amazing. It's a three! It's a three! It's a three! <laughs> Amazing! That doesn't help anyone. Oh, next card is coming up. Oh, <laughs> this tension is killing me. Me too. Uh, man, watching other people play cards is so exciting. Yes. Uh, uh, Terry Kim has such a poker face. The pros at this sport measure themselves as to how many chips they have right now. It's like a whorehouse. You can be dealt something that you carry with you all your life. After seeing this, I don't need to live anyway because I have seen it all tonight. You know, I have a small pair, but I talk a good game. Ooh, here comes the turn. It, it, it's, 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 it's oh, oh, wow. oh my wow. God, wow. it's the nine of clubs. <laughs> you know, he could have gotten an ace or a queen. Oh, yeah, he sure could have. Or even a, a seven or a two. Oh, true, true. Uh, but the devil wears nines tonight. Mm. <laughs> it's nine steps to heaven for Phil Deadman Davidson if he gets the next card. That's right. It's all in the river. Oh, this this is what we live for. Wow. Luck has really shined on cocksure Chris Cummings. The rest of these guys should really think about killing themselves because when you lose at poker on TV, life is the pits. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, my God. And that's all we have time for here in Venturas. This has been a Jeremiah TV production in association with Shark Credit Cards because this show has been extortionate value and love me because we've made you whole again. For all of us at the Venturas Poker Challenge,
bet it all, don't play it safe, and go home a winner. How will you know if terror is about to win? A terror alert this afternoon in Liberty City. An awesome, terrible tragedy tonight in the South Slope section of Brooklyn. Weasel News, the news Liberty City trusts. Are you a sex offender? Find out tonight. Ethnics are at it again. Weasel News is on the scene hovering at a safe level in our chopper. The best in political news and analysis. Today, President Lawton suspended habeas corpus and saved freedom. That's excellent. And Weasel Chopper 4. If someone's in trouble or on fire, the Weasel News Chopper is there on top of the action. Sir, you there on fire. Could you face the camera, please? Hard-hitting stories, attractive news anchors with great hair, self-consciously multicultural with racist undertones. It's the Weasel News Team. Anchor Cindy Shiny, Charles Justice, meteorologist Artie Schneider, street reporter Sheila Hatano, and Kenny Lapolano with the sports. We call it News. Your team for the war on terror, the weather, and sports. Weasel News. Recorded live from the capital of the world, Liberty City, the famous Split Sides Comedy Club invites you to light up and bring the love to the comedy club where the drinks ain't cheap. Welcome to the stage, Mr. Cat Williams. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Liberty City. Woo! Great. Great. I've never, never been here before. It's my first time. As a visitor to Liberty City, this is amazing. The speed and the pace in which this city works. Went on a mini adventure today. I got up, got dressed, got my swagger right, had my bravado, and I decided I'm going to cross a Liberty City street Slowly. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Everything moves so fast here. Why are people moving so... I, a homeless man ran past me. Where could he possibly be fucking going? He could lay down and be home. Immediately. Just lay down and be home. But he was speeding past me. Furious pace. Everything's so fast here in Liberty City. It's crazy. It's crazy. Your gas prices are too high. $69 a gallon, a bit ridiculous. My car cost about $72. Let's try to get it back in focus. People don't speak here in Liberty City. I don't know. It's like they're scared to be shot or something. I, I spoke all day. Hey, how are you? Nothing. Good looking at you, ma'am. Nothing. Hello, officer. Nothing. It's a crazy city. I'm enjoying it, though. It's very exciting. A lot of options here. A lot of options in Liberty City. You can get whatever you want. You like pussy? Of course you do. It's here. In Liberty City, some of the best I've ever had. <laughs> I'll tell you that. You know the pussy's good when, you, when you're inside of it and you're thinking about other things other than sex. Like things <laughs> like, wow. Wow. I love gingerbread cookies. <laughs> when you're thinking that in the pussy, that's when you know it's good shit. The best weed in the world, maybe right here in Liberty City. I was so high earlier today, I had a complete discussion with myself in the mirror, <laughs> threatening, threatening. I couldn't believe I'd snuck up on you like that, and I was furious about it. You ever had weed so good that you get stuck? You know, stuck. Stuck like when you need to leave, you want to leave, you got to leave, but you can't fucking go. Stuck. <laughs> That's what you find here in Liberty City. You've got everything. The greatest basketball team. Who's fucking with the Liberty City Warriors? It's crazy. I remember there used to be a guy played as good as the guy you guys got, but he didn't want to pass the ball. He never passed the ball. And so the rest of the team was just up and down. Just They were physically fit, but never scored any points. This selfish bastard. They're just chasing him down the court. Just... <sighs> I'm open. Nothing. Nothing. Liberty City's got a, a team made out of warriors. You need that. You need the strong... You need a strong team. You, have, you gotta be strong anyway. This is a weak world. You come to Liberty City, you can get strong in this weak world. I know it's weak. I started out weak. I wasn't always tall like this, but <laughs> used to be short. A lot going on when you're short. People lie to you. My parents looked me directly in the eyes and told me, without a shadow of a doubt, eat all your vegetables, drink your milk, you'll grow up big and tall. Lying son of a bitch. You know how many vegetables I ate? Hmm? Any idea? How much milk I consumed? 
I should be the size of a cow. Why am I not the size of a cow? I drank the same thing the fucking cow drank. Still short. You know I was short because I, I, I wore one pair of jeans probably five years through school. Five. And you could tell how old I was because of the ring where I would cuff it and then let the cut out. <laughs> hey, I'll punch you in the freaking liver. Excuse me, the men's room is occupied. Yeah. And now for your hosts, Baz Rutten and Jeremy St. Ives. Whoa! Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Hey, everybody. My name is Boss Rutten. And I'm Jack. And welcome to the man's room. Yeah, where men can hang out. Okay, now, and tonight in the man's room, we're going to get personal. On this show, we're going to be discussing a lot, a lot of aspects of health, especially how to endanger the health of others with others. Did you? Not me. Now, we've got relationship advice, like how to avoid bruising the face. We're going to take some calls, advising women on how to deal with their men. But that's, that's pretty easy, right? I mean, it's just the thing that you need to do is a kick to the groin right there. And when your body connects with the reproductive organs of another man, let me tell you, buddy, it's pain and beauty. Also, we have a special, and we call that special, the cubicle, the copier, and stabbing a co-worker in the eye with a little pencil. <laughs> like, like this. Look at the blue, look at the blue, look at the blue. <laughs> this is going to be an unbelievable show. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be discussing rectal marital age. Oh, shut up. First off, I want to talk to you about a second to learn, see if I can teach you how to understand your anger. Now, anger is the death of so many men. Mm -hmm. Heart problems, health problems, boldness, impotence, waking up in the middle of the night with your hands covered in blood and you have no idea what happened.